Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. In this video, I will be discussing about patterns of missing data, how to test for patterns in the missing data and how to deal with missing data. Generally, there will be some missing data in the data set because of different reasons. According to Tabuchnik and Fidel 2001, if the missing data is in a random pattern and less than 5% of the total data, then we don't consider it to be a serious problem in the data analysis. But if the missing data is non-random and more than 5% of the total data, then any statistical results based on such data will be biased. So first we need to understand the patterns of missing data and its percentage. Next, we need to decide how to deal with the missing data. So let's start for understanding different types of patterns of missing data. There are three patterns of missing data. Number one, missing at random. Number two, missing completely at random. Number third one is missing non-random. First one, missing at random. Missing data are termed as missing at random if the missing data of one variable can be explained by any other variable in the data set. It means if you have two variables, the missing pattern in one variable can be explained with relation to the other variable. I'll explain you this with example when I do SPSS analysis. Next one is missing completely at random. Missing data are termed as missing completely at random if the missing data of one variable are unrelated to any other variable in the data set means the missing pattern in one variable cannot be explained in relation to any other variable in the data set now the third one is a missing non-random missing data are termed as missing non-random if the missing data pattern is not missing at random or missing completely at random so this is called missing non-random the data should not be missed at non-random data can be missing at random or can be missing completely at random but it should not be missing non-randomly now we will uh, take the data set and discuss this pattern and we will use a software to understand is there any missing completely at random or missing at random this is SPSS file. In this file, we have four variables are there. The first variable is gender, second variable is age, third variable is question one, question two and question three. These are the opinions regarding job satisfaction where these two gender and age are demographical variables. Now you can see these are dots. What we are seeing is a missing data. Now first let us understand different patterns of the missing data. We'll start the analysis. To analyze you must click analyze in this missing value analysis in this we have two boxes are there on right side quantitative variables and categorical variables let us take this gender and age as categorical variables and these three opinions as quantitative variables and in pattern let us select this cases with missing values and sort variables by missing value pattern click continue and in descriptives set t-test and include probability in table and you can see omit variables missing less than five percent already we have said that if the missing is five percent less than five percent it's not a problem so we are trying to omit the cases with are less than five percent click continue and click ok once i click ok in the output screen we can see univariate statistics here we can see the percentage wise for each variable question one question two question three gender and age the percentages for all are less than five percent except for age age is having missing data 13.2 percent which is more than five percent so we are going to focus on this age and see is this age have any relationship with the other variables for this for this they have used a t-test 
So the age variable is taken and divided into two categories, missing or non-missing data. And they want to see any sort of relationship of this variable with question 1, question 2 and question 3. You can see the p value. The significant value for question 1 is 0 0.005. If the significant value is less than 0 0.05, then there is a difference between missing and non-missing values with the variable. Means age is having relationship with question 1 in terms of missing data. But coming to question 2 and question 3, there is no relationship because this significant value is more than 0 0.05. Now coming to the pattern wise, you can see the pattern also. Uh, it shows each case wise, each case wise way you, how many missing data you have there are some cases you have multiple missing like 310 there are two missing values are they for question one and question age and you can see the last case 411 where there are all missing data for all the five variables even we can see the relationship of this age with gender also the same analysis what we did missing value analysis in this in descriptives you must select a cross tabulation for categorical variables when you do cross tabulation even you will get a cross tabulation of categorical variables also gender age to gender you can see missing data for male and female missing data of age for male is 18.2 percentage for female it is only 1.6 means more data is missing for age age variable for male group than female group so it means that age is having relationship with other variable means missing at random missing at random means the missing pattern in one variable can be explained by the other variable it means the missing of age more age variables are missing in male than female this is missing at random in case this variable missing data is not explained by any other variable in the data set it mean missing completely at random now i think you understood the pattern now let us discuss how to deal with this missing data values dealing with missing data there are five methods are there which we can use for dealing with missing data the first two which i am showing in red color they are deletion methods in deletion method we will delete the missing cases from the analysis the first one list wise deletion means all missing values from the total data set will be deleted whatever test you do the total missing values from the total data set will be deleted this is called list wise deletion all missing values are deleted from the analysis very easy method second one is pairwise deletion which is also called as delete cases analysis by analysis it means if you are doing two tests for example in the first test you are using a variable and b variable missing values in that only two variables will be deleted it will not touch the missing data of the other variables and next you are doing another test we are using c and d variable for example system will delete only the missing data for that variables only means it is going to delete cases analysis by analysis this is called pairwise deletion method so here we are not going to handle it anyway we are going to simply delete it whether you are deleting completely from the analysis or deleting analysis by analysis that is all two methods list wise deletion pairwise deletion method next method is mean substitution method that is system will simply take the value the variable calculate its mean of the variable and substitute that mean value wherever there is a missing data this is called mean substitution method this is also simple method system will not work much it only calculates the mean of the variable and substitutes uh, that mean value in the missing value so i'll show how the system is going to do this for mean sub let us see this mean substitution method for this transform 
and in this replace missing value i want to substitute missing value for question one you can see one two three and there are some missing data is this just to take question one into new variable system is going to calculate series mean and substitute in this and it will create a new variable called q1 underscore one i am clicking ok right let us see the data now you can see here there is a main missing data here 2.5 is substituted here 2.5 2.5 so this is a simple method where system will calculate the total variable mean and substitute in the missing data place and after mean substitution method the next method is regression based imputation missing data is replaced with a predicted value generated by using multiple regression based on non missing data on other variable means for example you are using dependent variable and independent variable right system will calculate the regression predicted value and substitute in the place of the missing data i'll show you how this is done in the system in spss to use this regression method must go to analyze missing values in this i'm using three variables q1 q2 q3 for the three variables wherever there is a missing system is going to substitute with the method called regression means in each case it will take one variable as dependent the other two variables as independent and calculates the predicted value and substitutes in the dependent value that's so simple it is so in variables you can select here which variables to be used only thing i'm not doing all those things now in regression you can save the complete data in a new data set and i'm just creating a data set like with the number continue click ok now let us see the new data set this is a new data set you can see this is a data 11 i have created the missing data are substituted question one question two so wherever there is a missing data the total missing data is been substituted this method is called as this method is called as a regression method and the next method is expectation maximization algorithm this is two parts actually in this the first missing data is imputed by predicted value in a series of regression and in next the whole imputed data set is substituted for maximum likelihood estimation so first missing data is imputed by predicted value in a series of regression and next the whole imputed data set is submitted for maximum likelihood estimation this is the best method out of all the methods now let us see how we are going to do this now in this analysis analyze missing value analysis let us take this three missing values now click this em estimated maximum likelihood method right and click this em variable in this save the values to the new data set let me say i'm creating a data set which is 12 for example continue and the system is going to follow, follow the same algorithm in substituting for this uh, three way values click ok now we can see the value in this uh, data set 12 see the missing values are substituted for the three variables question one question two and question three so this is how we are going to handle the missing data first understand the pattern test the pattern and use the appropriate method in handling the missing data i hope this video will be useful for you please subscribe the channel share the video and like the video thank you